With the Zerto Migration Utility, switching from a Windows-based Zerto Virtual Manager, or ZVM, to the new ZVM appliance is fast and easy. The migration that you'll see in this video will take about 3 minutes. The steps shown here are for existing customers who already have ZVMs deployed. The utility will help you to migrate from the Windows-based ZVM to the new ZVM appliance. Customers who are new to Zerto or deploying new sites should instead download Zerto 10, which will include the ZVMA. Before we get started, let's make sure we're meeting our prerequisites. Doing this before you begin will ensure a smooth migration. First off, you will want to make a note of the default credentials for the ZVMA. You can access them from Zerto's documentation page by clicking the link or using the QR code. Then, you should be running Zerto version 9.7, update 2 or higher on the existing Windows-based ZVM. If you are running an earlier version of Zerto, such as 9.5, you should first upgrade to 9.7 U2 or higher before starting the migration. Third, download, deploy, and configure the ZVMA. For a walkthrough of how to do this, please see the other videos in this playlist. Fourth, download the ZVMA migration utility, which can be found in the download section of MyZerto. Also, use only one NIC. If the ZVM has more than one, disable the additional ones temporarily and re-enable after migration. Finally, you might want to disable security agents. You can either do this beforehand, or only disable them if there is an issue with migration. Once you've met the prerequisites, you can complete the migration in three steps for every Zerto Virtual Manager that you have in your environment. First, we'll get the ZVM's network details. The IP address of the current Windows ZVM will later be used as the static IP address for the ZVMA. Then, you will need to provision a free IP address to use on its subnet. Second, we'll run the Zerto Migration Utility. This is where you will need to use the free IP address. Then, we'll validate the successful migration. Let's find and make a note of our existing network details. Then you will need to provision an available IP address that is near the IP of the ZVM. Here we are in our lab environment with a typical VM setup. To find the network details let's RDP to the Windows Zerto Virtual Manager. Now we will open command prompt and check our networking. This can be done in any way that is known to you. You can see the ZVM's current IP address here. Now, you'll want to provision an IP address that is close to this IP, or on the same subnet. Also, you might want to make a note of your network details, since you will need them later on. It will help to have your IP addresses, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server. Then we can exit out of the RDP session. Now let's look at the ZVMA migration utility. We have already downloaded it onto the desktop. Make sure you don't simply run it from the zip file. You will want to extract it, which creates a logs folder that might come in handy in the future. Then we will right-click on the ZVMA migration utility and run it as administrator. We will need to open the readme files and make sure we have read the documentation. But for the purposes of this video we will skip that step. It does contain important information, so you will want to read it before starting the migration. Here let's enter the target virtual manager appliance credentials. In our case it will be 192.168.111.120. The default username is still applicable. 
For the admin password, use the new one that you set from the CLI when you had configured the ZDMA. Now we're going to click Validate SSH Connectivity. We have established a connection. So now we can click the Next button. Now we're being asked for alternative host network details, which will be applied to the ZDM. So let's provide the Windows Zerto Virtual Manager with the IP address you had provisioned. We'll also enter the subnet mask, gateway, and DNS server. In this instance we're going to use 192.168.111.131. Our subnet mask is the same as before, 255.255.255.0. The gateway is also the same, and so is the DNS server. Keep this IP address handy, because we'll be needing it very soon. Once we start the migration, the RDP session is going to drop, and we'll use the IP address to re-establish the connection. For now, let's click Next. And now we have the summary. Here we have a helpful warning which says that once the migration starts, the RDP connection will be terminated, but that you can open it using the new IP address you had just configured. Let's go ahead and click the Migrate button. You can see that the utility is validating and changing the IP addresses. The RDP session is going to drop very shortly. Do not be alarmed when this happens. Simply connect to the IP address you had specified earlier. While that's running let's take a peek at the production Windows ZVM. We can see that even while the migration is running and the control plane is down, we're still replicating data. This shows that your data is still being protected, even during the migration. In the meantime, the RDP session has now dropped. So let's create a new session using the new IP address. Log in using the same credentials that you had used for the old ZVM. You can see now we've got the migration window back up again and you can see that it's starting the Virtual Manager Appliance Services. It has only taken about 3 minutes for us to get to this point. Essentially, we have swapped everything over, the configuration, the database, and everything else. Now we're reapplying all of that and starting the services on the Zerto Virtual Manager appliance that we've configured. This is the last step of the migration. And here you can see that it is complete. We can now access the ZVM appliance at the old IP address for the Zerto Virtual Manager. So in a sense, everything stayed more or less the same. Not much has actually changed. The Zerto Virtual Manager IP address is the same as it was before. Let's close this out. Let's open the production Windows ZVM to validate that we are still replicating. Now it's time to validate the successful migration. Since there's no longer a need to specify the old port, we'll get rid of the 9669. Going forward, the ZVMA uses the standard HTTPS. Let's enter the default credentials. We will be prompted to change the password since it's our first time logging in. Now that we're logged in, you can see that we're still replicating, and everything's going as well as it should be. We haven't changed anything in the VRAs, and their status is green. The VPGs are in a good state, and are ready to fail over if and when you say go. Although this is quite a small environment, you can see it's only taken a few minutes to migrate from the Windows version of the Zerto Virtual Manager, across to the Zerto Virtual Manager appliance. The Zerto Virtual Manager appliance means more security, and the utility makes the switch easy. There are a few considerations that will be helpful to know. During a migration, the control plane will be down until the ZVM appliance becomes fully functional. But protection continues during this time, and no data is lost. For your own environment, the estimated migration time is about 10 to 20 minutes per ZVM. 
However, migrating a ZVM with an external database should be much faster than migrating with an internal one, since the data won't need to move. And the ZVMA will use existing information to automatically and seamlessly connect to the external database for you. A full rollback to the ZVM backup will occur on error. The utility must be executed on the Windows ZVM machine. This will allow the utility to easily access the ZVM and gather the data needed for a successful migration. If your migration was to a 9.7 ZVMA, we strongly recommend that you upgrade to Zerto 10. You can do so easily using the CLI. Customers deploying a new site using Zerto 10 or higher will not need the migration tool. For documentation and credentials, see the QR code or help.zerto.com.